Hello there and welcome to this video on what is physical mediumship. So physical mediumship is a deeper state of trance, um, unlike trance mediumship. All physical mediums are mediums and trance mediums, uh, also healers, um, but there it goes much deeper into that practice. Now I can talk for, for hours about physical mediumship, the stuff I've learned and experienced over the years, but right now I'm going to tell you what physical mediumship is. Physical mediumship is a much, much deeper state of trance um, mediumship. So this is when a, a medium goes into a, a deeper state, allowing their mind to be completely out of the way. They're not overshadowing, they're not chance channeling or being in a, in a more present state of mind. Their consciousness, their mind, their current state of mind is pushed outside, away in their auric field, allowing the the spirit team to come through um, to produce phenomena to produce uh, communications and sometimes that doesn't even happen sometimes just in the presence of a physical medium things can uh, occur and happen such as objects materializing it could be smells it could be scents it could be uh, sensations sounds and they are basically how I perceive a physical medium is that they are a portal into this physical world and that probably sounds very crazy but there are portals everywhere we have portals on our body bodies which are chakras that allows energy to come in and out of our bodies our non-physical bodies to uh, allow um, chi prana to come into our into our physical body for it to be active and um, filled up with uh, the fauna and flora of life uh, the chi the energy that surrounds us so this non-physical energy is, is then produced in a more physical form with physical mediumship. Now physical mediums have the ability to produce uh, ectoplasm and they often produce a lot more ectoplasm than normal people. Now everyone has the ability to become a physical medium, it's just that physical mediums produce a lot more ectoplasm. And ectoplasm um, is a substance that is inside the body of the medium that is produced and with the energy from the sitters use it as like batteries, they enable this ectoplasm to be built up even more and through that ectoplasmic form can be a, a mould for spirit to then push their, phys their once physical form through that mould to then communicate with people that are present in that, in that room, for example this room here. So behind me we have a setup with a red light, a cabinet and some chairs and this is typically uh, a very quiet uh, special place that we have for um, mediums uh, a medium and sitters to sit to uh, have contact from the other side for, for uh, guides for Passover loved ones to gain more clarity communication um, and phenomena and to, and have more faith so when I say faith it's when I've experienced physical mediums the first few times I was aware that, okay, what was going on? And I guess I didn't fully 100% believe what was going on until the third or fourth sitting that I was in. And I was like, okay, yeah, this is definitely real. After all the protocols that we do, the room is checked and the medium, there is no doubt in our mind that what we are experiencing is, is true phenomena. And that this physical mediumship allows to really solidify our belief and understanding and trust in spirit more because we actually see it physically we hear it physically smell it physically um, so yeah physical mediums have a huge uh, ability to produce a lot more abundant of energy than other people it doesn't mean that these are special people these these people just have more of a deeper ability to produce a lot more phenomena and when they sit regularly then they produce a lot more phenomena itself so it depends if you feel guided to be a physical medium. Uh, whatever happens, it's the fact of sitting and sitting for spirit, which is another video I'll go into. But when you sit for spirit, you allow the, the, the bridge of the physical and the non-physical to bridge together because you are working hard on your side to connect with the other side. They're also working very hard on the non-physical side to connect with the physical. And so there's this bridge of connection which takes sometimes many years, months, and a lot of hours to connect 
it's not something that can be done overnight. Um, physical mediums take many, many years, sometimes decades, uh, many years to um, produce uh, results. But it can be done with your dedication. And then, and as I said, anyone can become a physical medium if they feel they have the consistent um, sitting ability to always turn up at the same time every day. It's not always possible because we have jobs, we have jobs we have to go to, but it's totally possible. Um, you can completely sit on your own to develop physical mediumship, and you can also sit in a very um, safe and protected circle of friends and circle members that help you to be in a specific um, state. So even if people are sitting in a circle uh, for, for healing and there's a physical medium present, that's okay. It dep depends how you are operating together and how things flow fluidly. So this touches some points on physical mediumship. Unfortunately, we never fully understand what's going on with physical mediumship. It's so far from our understanding. There are things that happen that we cannot explain, but however, we must trust the process and trust what is going on. So thank you for watching and I'll see you in the other videos.